Hello everyone, today I will show you how to fix Valorant connections error. The solutions in this video I researched for 3 to 4 hours. All solutions tried and they work. Before moving on to the video, you can support me by liking the video and deliver this video to people who are looking for this video like you. Let's start. For absolute solution and not to miss the steps, watch the video until the end, then follow the steps one by one with me. Our first solution is to start VGC service. We will do this in two stages. For the first stage, we press the Windows and R keys together. Here we write MS config in the run bar we opened. And press OK. In the window that opens, we click on services and then we tick the box to hide all Microsoft services. If the VGC service here is not open, we open it. Then we hit apply and OK. We are not restarting here. For the second stage, we write services in the search section and enter services. We need to find VGC from services here. After finding VGC, we right click and click properties. We make the startup type automatic and click start. After the process starts, we save it by pressing apply and OK. This was our first solution. Now you can restart the computer once and check if the error is fixed or not. We will now move on to the second solution. Our second solution is to delete Vanguard and Valorant metafiles. Then Valorant will reinstall these files without any issues. We need a small program to remove Vanguard completely. For this, we open our browser and write geek uninstaller in the search bar. Then we click on the first result. On the site that opens, we click on the part that says download and here we click on the zip file in the free section. After downloading the program, click on the zip file. You can also choose to extract the files. I open it from the zip file because there is no need for installation. When we open the program, we see the programs installed on our computer. Here we find Riot Vanguard, right click and click uninstall and wait for the uninstallation to finish. Vanguard was deleted with its residual files. Now we need to delete the meta files. For this we need to enter the local disk C. You need to find program data folder in local disk C folder. If this folder is not visible to you, it is because the show hidden files option is turned off. To open it, we write File Explorer options in the search section and click on the setting that comes up. Here we come to the View tab and mark the Show Hidden Files from the options in the Hidden Files and Folders section. Finally, we click on Apply and OK to save the settings. Now Program Data Folder will appear. After entering the folder, we find the Riot Games folder and delete it. Now we will enter Valorant, and Valorant will download and replace the faulty files we deleted. Here we press Install. If you did not choose another location while installing Valorant, we press Install. If we change the location, we choose the location we chose. Here we wait for the installation to finish and after the installation is finished, we restart our computer. That was our second solution. If this solution worked for you, please don't forget to like the video. If the solution did not work, we will move on to the third solution. Our third solution is to repair game files. For this we open the Valorant client. Then we click on the profile icon in the upper right and then on settings. Here we click on Valorant. And finally click on repair. If your files are up to date as mine is, a message like this will appear here. If our files are not up to date, we click on start repair here. And we are waiting for the process to finish. And now our files are up to date. That was our third solution. This solution will work if the errors are due to our files not being up to date. Now we will move on to the fourth solution. 
Our fourth solution is to turn our router off and on if the connection errors are not caused by our computer but by our router. We can get such errors when we use our router without turning it off for a long time. We turn off the router with the power button and then wait a few minutes. Then we turn on the router by pressing the power button again. This solution will also work when you have stable high ping. Our fifth solution is to completely delete Valorant along with its residual files and then reinstall it. If you are getting a lot of errors like this in the game, it may be due to the installation. That way a clean install will fix most errors. First we need a small program to delete it along with the residual files. For this we open our browser. Then we write geek uninstaller in the search bar and click on the first site that comes up. Here we click on download at the top right. And we click on the zip in the section that says free. Click and open the downloaded zip file and run the X file inside. What you see here are the applications installed on our computer. First, we delete Riot Vanguard. After Vanguard is deleted, we delete Valorant. After the deletion is finished, all we have to do is download Valorant again. You already know this part. And this was our fifth and final solution. Our sixth solution is actually not a complete solution. If you are still getting an error after trying all these solutions, this may not be an error from your computer, but may be caused by Riot servers. Now I will show you how to check Valorant server status. First of all, we write Valorant server status in our browser and click on the first Riot site. Click on Valorant from Riot Games here. Here we select the region we play and click continue. As you can see here, there is no problem with the servers at the moment. You can also find out by typing Valorant down detector in the search section. If there is a rise in the graph here, it means the servers are down. You can see only the data of the country you are in by selecting your country from the country flags on the right. We have come to the end of our video. I hope these solutions fixed your problem. If the video helped you, don't forget to like the video. You can also subscribe to my channel to support me. Take care and see you in the next video.